there is a circle on the elif, but we will drop that elif. We won't read the elif, and we will read it like this. Efein. Repeat after me twice. Efein. 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 Lishein. 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 Thamude. 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 Also, elif in ene is not recited when you continue reciting after it. But you can recite the elif if you stop at ene. So repeat after me twice. Ene. 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 This is if you continue after ene. Then you drop the elif. Another rule is that when there is no sign on well, then there is no sound. We don't even recite the well. So, repeat after me twice. Uleike. 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 Another rule is that yeah or well after standing fatha are also not recited. Remember, no sign, no sound. So in this word, there is ye, and it has no sign on it. So we won't even read the ye, and we will read it like this. Muse. Repeat after me twice. Muse. 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 We say. So, Alhamdulillah, we have finished all of the rules of silent letters. But before we end this lesson, let me do a small recap. So remember, the first rule is that if you see a small circle on elif, then don't read the elif. Second rule is that elif in ene is not recited when you continue reading after it, but you can recite it if you choose to stop there. And rule number three, no sign on well means no sound, so we don't read the well if there is no sign on it. And rule number four, yeah or well that have no sign after standing fatha are not recited also. So... That was very easy, right? I hope you understood. Next lesson, I will bring you an interesting topic. So, stay tuned. May Allah help us to recite, understand, implement, and propagate this Quran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.